Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Master Trainer Battles. On this episode, we're going to show you guys how to beat the Venonet and Venomoth Master Trainers without any candy investments the easiest way possible. So, thanks for watching, thanks for catching up with our series, and if you guys haven't already, take a look at every single one of the previous episodes that we've done up until this point in the Pokedex. We're going to continue on to get every single one of them until we get that Grandmaster title. It's going to be super fun. So, yeah, this episode is going to be a very luck-based one if you guys don't want to invest into candy. And I don't want to put out episodes where it's like, oh yeah, if you just grind out all this candy and outspeed them or just bulk all their hits because of candy, you'll be able to beat it. Of course, anyone and their moms can do that, but like, I respect your time. Like, I respect my time. I don't want to be grinding for candy for like one little title. Get out of here. So, anyway. Venonet. As you guys can see over here, we're at Nugget Bridge. Nugget Bridge over in Cerulean City. You guys remember where this is at, right? I hope you guys do. Uh, this is where uh, this person sees your feet from the grass. So, anyway. This is the Venonet Master Trainer. I'm going to show you guys my Venonet. And uh, hopefully we can, we can win this one. Uh, <laughs> all right, so here we go. It's a timid Venonat. Uh, speed doesn't matter because it uh, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Right now, it is absolutely not good enough. Okay, so I'm at 129 speed. Timid nature helps boost that a little bit. But right now, the opposing Venonat has awakening values that makes the speed 189. And 189 is pretty huge. I'm not about to grind, what, 60... 61 speed candies in order to get that going. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to try our luck here. Now the moveset that I'm going to be using is Sleep Powder, Disable, Supersonic, and Psychic. I might switch out Supersonic for Substitute because I feel that Substitute would help me out a little bit more. You know what? I'm going to do that. Or maybe I shouldn't. Let's try Supersonic a little bit. Here's the reasoning. Right? So Supersonic's a garbage move. The accuracy is like 50-something. and But it confuses, and it's the only way that we can get the Confuse hacks. Psychic is going to be our main type of damage, because Psychic against a Poison-type Pokemon is super effective, so we're going to be doing double damage there. And then, of course, the uh, Disable is also good for four turns. This move prevents the target from using the move it used last. So that's good. And then Sleep Powder is 90% accurate. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Sleep Powder is 75% accurate. What am I talking about? Sleep Powder is 75% accurate, putting them to sleep for a couple turns. So, that being said, wish me luck on how we're going to beat this Master Trainer. So, this can go one of two ways. The moveset that this Venonet has is Disable, Sleep Powder, and Psybeam. Psybeam has a small chance of getting us confused. It's not really that great when it happens, but you know what? It's hack, so that's how you play the game. So we're hoping that I can, he can use Psybeam up first, I don't get confused, and then I disable his Psybeam. So I'm going to use Disable, knowing that he's going to outspeed me. And unfortunately, he gets a Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder is garbage. Now he's going to be, um, yeah, he's going to be doing work. Oh, and see, that's one of the things too. That's one of the things that I, I don't like. But we could just call it a first turn wake. So, hear me out. I was raising this Venonat and leveling him up a little bit more, and therefore he's liking me a bit. Which is kind of cool. Like, I like that concept. But I don't want you guys to feel that you need to absolutely have this Pokemon on your back, um, shrugging off the sleeves. So again, that's a really lucky thing that happened there. I don't even want to win this battle. Like I want to fall. I want to. I want to run, but at the same time, I don't want to have to deal with everything like that. So let's just pretend. Let's just pretend. First turn, he did the sleep, and it was since it's 70% accuracy, it's 75% accuracy. He missed it. Let's just pretend that happened. And then I used supersonic, and I both missed it. So we just started from scratch. So I was able to disable that. So anyway. And your saving grace for this battle is going to be the sleep. Min max damage. Ooh, survive with a 1 HP. Uh oh, uh oh, what's gonna happen? Alright, come on, one more sleep turn. One more sleep turn. Oh, wake up, Psybeam. It's not gonna be a crit. No, a crit can't kill. Unless he gets the confusion and I lose. Oh, come on! No! 
Not like this? I was gonna take the dub! Oh my god, we got it. Here we go. Okay, so ladies and gents, the... I could say that the friendship bonus did not matter. No way. But uh, that's a thing that you can do also. If you raise these Pokemon up, they, you'll have some friendship bonuses and you're going to be able to do some work with them. All right, your Venonat is way too strong. You definitely deserve the title of Venonat Master. All right, so we got Venonat Master. I'm happy about that. Oh my gosh, that was a little a little too much for me. I tried that battle a couple times off screen and I was just getting like sleep hacks, confusion hacks, just a whole bunch of nonsense. So what we need to do right now is we need to go over to Route 15. Oh, I'll show you where the Ven Venomoth trainer is. And then I'm gonna go off screen, evolve my Venonat into Venomoth, and then come on back, because that's what we do in these episodes. Anyway, let's show you guys what's going on. So, the Venomoth Master Trainer is right this way. If you guys fly over to Fuchsia City, head on over to this section. You guys should be uh, all set. Alright, so Venomoth, that's Tangela. So, what we're going to do is we're going to party. We're going to go Dragonite, take out a ball. Or you press the plus button as a little bit of a shortcut. And then... right here. Okay. So you guys can see the Venomoth Master Trainer right there. Allow me to head on over to Cerulean Cave. I'm going to do a little bit of grinding, get my Venonat to evolve, and then we're going to come right back here. We're going to face this thing, and we're going to beat it. It's going to be awesome. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, ladies and gents, there we go. Venonat growing to level 98. Super safe. Definitely not 100, but good enough for right now. I don't think the small amount of stats from two levels are going to necessarily make or break, but I am worried about Venomoth, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this one, because this is going to be pretty luck-based, just looking at this moveset of Venomoth. Now, Venomoth is, don't get me wrong, Venomoth is an amazing Pokemon, especially in Gen 1 only. Oh my gosh, one of the only Pokemon that have access to... Um, that had access to Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is just like the best boosting move ever. So anyway. So let's, oh dude, I didn't buy, I'm sorry. I didn't buy any uh, escape rope. So we're gonna have to take the long way out. Not a big deal. So let's take a look at this, right? So Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder, Psychic is going to be so strong. I don't know how I'm gonna beat it, to be honest. Quiver Dance boosts speed, special attack, and attack, right? I don't know how I'm gonna beat that. We just have to disable Psychic. Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder, Psychic. We have to disable some of that stuff and see what's going on. So here we go, bag. We're gonna go all the way to Route 15, uh, where we showed you guys a little bit earlier from Fuchsia City, straight down here. Got ourselves a Chansey, that was really easy, and now we're gonna try our luck. Now, I kept Supersonic on here. Although, I don't know, like, I'm looking at this moveset. If, if he goes first turn Psychic, I survive it and disable it, and somehow I shrug off the Sleep Powder and get up a sub, I can potentially, like, attack him for, like, two to three turns for free and put him to sleep with the sub. But then Supersonic is just like, all right, man, let's go. Let's let, let's do some confusion hacks. And if I get rid of Supersonic, then I have to potentially try it without that. So I've got two strats that I have in my pocket right now. I'm going to try the, the Supersonic strat just for the heck of it. I know the accuracy is pure trash. Like, I get that. But I kind of want to give it a shot. I kind of want to. My gut instinct is saying just give it a shot once or twice and see how it goes. Oh yeah, so hold on. I want to show you my Venomoth stats before we jump into this. So here we go. Here's our party. Our Venomoth did in fact evolve, so we're going to check summary. Okay, Timid Nature, cool, doesn't really matter because the enemy Venomoth has 363 speed stat. So that is completely like decked out. So I'm going to either eat a Psychic, a Sleep Powder, or a Quiver Dance at the beginning. And a Quiver Dance would be good, because then that would give me initiative and I could put him asleep. But then at the same time, I want to disable the Psychic. 
so he doesn't attack me for four turns. So it's it's going to be really interesting on how this battle is going to play out. And there's going to be a lot of luck involved. But uh, that's the reason why we're doing it. Because, like I said earlier in the episode, like I don't want to just like tell you guys, oh man, yeah, go just uh, max out 200 awakening values on speed, and then use Psychic. Easy, done. No, we don't have 200 plus of those candies. No, forget that, man. Alright, anyway, here's Venomoth. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my Gut Instinct and we're gonna disable. Although, Supersonic would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's go Supersonic. Give it a shot. Quiver Dance up. Oh, man. Supersonic is good against Quiver Dance, if it works. Special Attack rises. Special Defense rises. Speed rises. Oh, no. That's not good. Maybe I should have used Gust. Because these Psychics aren't going to do any work. So you got confused just now. I can Sleep Powder and attempt get that hit. Oh, that's level 2 already! Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. And you avoided the sleep? Come on, man. It's not gonna work. He just burnt a turn. Look, watch how pitiful damage this is going to do right here. Supersonic is not good against Quiver Dance. I thought Quiver Dance gave like the attack raise, like play rough, or what is that? Like, is that work up? Trash garbage. That's such bad damage. Oh my gosh. Don't look at me with that eyeball. Okay, he's gonna wake up this turn, so I'm gonna go Sleep Powder. That's a three turn sleep. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if there's such thing as a four turn sleep in this generation, but I'm gonna go Sleep Powder just in case. Snapped out his confusion, and then Quiver danced up. Oh my gosh, you are you are doing something. He's going for that one hit KO. Oh, come on, two misses on the sleep? You're crazy! And Psychic, one hit KO, that's a plus three Psychic. Gone! Guys. I can do it. I, I just need the luck on my side. I just need luck on my side. All right, here we go, here we go. And then if I can get a sub up while he's asleep, hmm, I think, I think I'm gonna try that. I think I'm gonna try that. Get a sub up while he's asleep. It'll allow me to tank the Psychic and then uh, retaliate with more sleep! Hello! Oh my gosh, that's it! I won! I figured it out. Supersonic's trash. Take me out. Okay, thank you. Boom! Plus three. There's no way. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I tried the supersonic strat. It's just too luck-based. It is very, very luck-based, and I don't like that. So, here we go. We're going to mix up our strategies, and we're going to do TM case. I'm going to do substitute. Protect is not going to do anything for us. Venomoth. I, disable will be good. Oh, disable will be pretty, pretty good, because if I get disable as psychic... He's only going to be able to use Sleep Powder and Quiver Dance. But then at the same time, I only have 10 power points on Psychic. And if he boosts up all the way, I'm not going to be able to have enough power points in order to survive. So this is really interesting. The only luck that I'm going to need is... More turns on Sleep, less turns for me. Sleep, phase one. Or I can do sub phase one. Let's do sleep phase one. Yo, it did sleep itself phase one. Are you kidding me? We haven't seen that. So the AI is mixing things up here. So there is a little bit of RNG on what moves they're choosing, which is pretty interesting. I'm gonna go for the uh, sub right off the bat because like, although the um, less 
damage psychic attack is very, very uh, optimal right now, I think that I need to just do work. No! Come on, man! You can't get a first turn way. Ugh. And he's... That's a plus one. I mean, that's okay. If he gets plus two, then... If he gets the plus three, I can't survive him. And he's poison type, so I can't toxic stall him either. Ugh. Another quiver dance. Come on, man. I'm think I'm thinking like a hundred turns into the future, and I'm thinking, can I possibly stall him out with power points? No, I can't because he's burning power point turns, potential power point turns by sleeping. I'm gonna go sleep powder. Stop getting to plus three and attacking! <laughs> He's like, yo, dude, watch this. I'm gonna set up all over you. And he avoided the sleep. There goes a psychic. I should have disabled. That's a misplay. But, you know, it's not bad if I get the sleep. Okay, that's the first turn of sleep. That's cool. I'm gonna try the disable right now. I only have seven of these. Give me some wild crit. Oh, there's no way. I need to disable this move. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go for the long haul. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna run out of attacks. Give me a crit. You gave me a crit on that other episode. Let's go. I knew you could do it. See, like now I'm banking on the friendships, uh, friendship nonsense. I'm so close. I can feel it. You're no longer disabled. What happens if I use Disable? He's going to use Quiver Dance. Uh, I'm going to sleep him. There's that Psychic. I mean, Disabling would have been pretty smart, but I want to make sure that we get him right to sleep. Okay, good. If I Disable him right now, that's going to get rid of his Psychic for four turns. And then maybe I can do a couple more damage hits. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. Dude, I'm just like, I'm setting all this up right here. And I'm almost out of sub damage, or sub health, anyway. Ah, oh, waste the turn! Ah! There's no way I can pe uh, power point stall him. He's, he's, every time he's sleeping, that saves him a power point. And there's that quiver dance. Uh, I, I risked it. 
That was like a four turn sleep, three turn sleep. There's no other moves that I can do. Rest, teleport, no. Headbutt. Headbutt's pointless. I mean, headbutt will do consistent damage. Hyper Beam? I don't have enough moves. It's like four move slot syndrome over here. That's good. I'll take that. You're no longer disabled. I have three more of these guys. Woke up with the Psychic. I need to do Disable. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Because I use Psychic. Unless I get this crit, it's over. Come on, man. Set up one more turn, please. No! Look at how much health! Oh. oh my god. What the heck? No physical attacks other than Leech Life. Leech Life could work. No, Leech Life's not very effective. Tackle, Leech Life, Headbutt, Facade, and then U turn. I don't know, man. I'm gonna keep on trying. Alright. This kid. This kid's too good. We're gonna go first turn sleep. Let's go. No! Not me first turn sleep! Dude! Thank you, needed that. Quiver Dance up. First turn Quiver Dance, that's cool. Take it. You know, I don't think I need a sub this early. I mean, it prevents him from using sleep, which is fine. But I don't think I need a sub this early. He gets to he gets the plus three before he even attacks. At least that's kind of what I've seen over here. I've never seen him do a psychic without plus three damage. I need some really good predictions here. That's the thing. Like that was a mispredict. That was a 50-50 shot, man. That was a four turn sleep, really good. I just need to not miss this attack. Good, and then I can disable the psychic since he revealed it. It's really good. I want to get behind a sub, but I want to do this damage. Oh, beautiful. Uh, that I guess that worked. He's going to quiver dance up right now. I think he's at plus three, <clears throat> plus two. I don't know. Looking at this move set, I don't see anything that'll work. Sub, protect, rest, teleport, headbutt. I don't outspeed for headbutt to be useful. And I don't think my attack stat is all that great. My base attack stat is 65 versus 90. Versus 90 special attack stat, so. Are you awake? Venomoth's move is no longer. Why are your eyes open? Do I have a sub up? I think I have a sub up. It's 
See, this, this is really hard because you have to predict the third turn wake up or the fourth turn wake up. And you, if you risk the fourth turn wake up, you're done. <laughs> Another mispredict. A wasted turn. Ah, lame. Here comes a wake up, psychic. I need to put you asleep. Disable ya. I don't need to get behind a sub. Of course I do! Wake up! With the help of love, wake up! <laughs> oh, it's over. Uh, maybe I should try Headbutt. Headbutt's got 15 attack points, but, like, it doesn't really- I don't feel it'll do that much damage. Give me a crit! Venomoth's no longer disabled, so I better figure this out. I got five more of these. Now is the real... It's the real risk right now. He's been asleep for two turns. He can wake up on the third, and I can put him back to sleep after he breaks my sub. And then I gotta somehow squeeze out two more psychics. I have to be right on these predictions. And it's all RNG, man. There's nothing about it. You can err on the side of safety, but then you're going to miss an opportunity to hit. I'm just gonna hit. Mm -hmm. So it's game over. GG's. Unless I get a crit right now. Oh, you! By one turn! Set up. Oh, dang! Why? Why is he sparing me? And if that was a miss 75% shot, wake up! Oh my gosh, he's so spare. Hey, okay, so I did wake up, but it doesn't matter because he's gonna try it again. He spared me. Whoa, what? No, come on, no. Tuffed it out so you wouldn't feel sad? No, I don't want to win like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's talk about this for a second here. That strength is no joke. Alright, so here's the thing, right? Oh, come on, your Venomoth is way too strong. You definitely deserve the title of Venomoth Master. I wish there was a way of disabling love-based nonsense like that in this game, but you know what? I don't want to be here for another hour. Uh, I'm looking at my recording time, and it's 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 a lot. So here here's the thing, right? So, with... Get out of here! What? No! With a lot of prediction... And a lot of luck, you can win that one without any candy investment, yes. Can you win it with a Pokemon that's like 70, level 70? Probably not. Well, you know, maybe you could if you're lucky enough, because you're really not taking any psychic attacks bluntly. You're, you're using subs in order to do this, but the offensive prowess that you're going to need is going to be relatively high. So if you decide to use candy and boost your special attack stat for your Venomoth, I feel that you can do it. If we were to continue doing this, I feel that we could have done it without the luck focus band or whatever. So, yeah, I don't really like the luck focus band, but I'm going to take it. I don't care. 
We earned it. We figured out a strat on how to get them really, really low uh, based on no candy usage. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, right? You guys are on board with even more Pokemon content. You guys want to see more fun episodes like these. I know you do. And of course, you guys want to see some Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage, right? We're going to be doing that when the game comes out. So can't wait to see you guys. All right, newest video on the channel there. Playlist over here, recommendations. And if you guys want to take your support to the next level, consider becoming a member simply by clicking there. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Or just go on my main channel page, click on that join button, and you guys can absolutely join in on our members-only game nights that we do, and a lot of other perks, such as custom emoji, early videos, and everything like that. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.